So right then folks, here's the deal. I was doing a pigeon video, uh, Wood Pigeon uh, Game Butchery Masterclass, and as I was preparing the pigeons, I looked in one of the crops and there was a load of these beauties. These are alderberries, and I thought, well, nature has a way of writing its own recipes. So I thought, I'll do myself a pigeon and alderberry dish. You know, I just think it, it sounds a great combo. It is a great combo. I just know it's gonna work. So what we're gonna do, is I'm going to make a roast crown of pigeon with chicory and alderberry sauce. I mean these are in season now in England, September, October. You've got to be careful of these though uh, because although the berries are edible they can be slightly toxic these uh, stems and so can the leaves so make sure when you get these you know you just get the berries off and cook them out. So I'll show you how to prepare those in a second then we'll get the ingredients together and then we'll get rocking. I know you're thinking so Scott, how do we get our berries off there? Because you know they are quite fragile. Simple way, I mean I need 150 grams. I mean when they're that small that's a lot. So you think there's a lot in there, but you know you need quite a few of these. So you get a fork, just gently pull down, not too much pressure, just like you're combing someone's hair. Just like that. And they all come off. These are a great berry. You know I like I said in season for two months. You can make wines with these, cordials, syrups, jams, tarts, and most of all, elderberry vodka. Very rock and roll, dear boy. So I'll get on with that, and I'm going to gather up those lovely ingredients, and we'll have a go at this dish. Well, I'm just finishing off these then, and I'll get those ingredients together. I'm just going to play you that clip of the uh, pigeon preparation when I actually found those elderberries in the crop. I think you'll be interested in that. Roll VT. I've always wanted to say that. Just want to show you what's in that crop. Have a look at that. Gorging on elderberries. Fantastic. Right, the ingredients. This lovely, lovely pigeon crown. As if you watch my video, you'll see that's the one I made. So we're just going to. Uh, in a moment, I'm just going to brown that off in the pan with some butter and some oil. And I've got my lovely elderberries, 150 grams. And I'm going to make a sauce with a knob of butter, elderberries, chicken stock, some red, red wine. Now I haven't been drinking today. And a little bit of port and season it up. And a shallot in there with the sauce. And then with the chicory, simple as cut in half, drizzle of olive oil, salt and pepper. We roast them in the oven then for the last five minutes. So we're going to get on with this pitch. So if I'm going to move the camera to there, we get a knob of butter going. What we're going to do is brown these off. A bit of butter, putting a bit of oil in. So obviously we don't burn that butter. I'm going to bring that right up to heat. I'm going to season my pigeon off. Fantastic these, fantastic. Put the seasoning on the pig. Salt and pepper. And then, when that's up to frying speed, we shall put in our pig. I'm going to move that pan out of the way. That uh, butter and oil is mixed in now. I'm just going to gently place this breast side down. Nice and gentle. Leave it there for a couple of minutes and then we'll turn that over. Just taking on a little bit of colour. Lovely. And what I've done is I've preheated my oven there to gas mark four because what we'll do is we'll take that out and we're going to put that in the oven there for 10 minutes. And then halfway through that, get this lovely chicory split, get it coated, get it seasoned, and we'll get that in because that takes five minutes and then we'll rock that saw. As you can see, pigeons browning nicely. Just show you the colour on that. Lovely. I'm just going to put it in that dish then. Gas smart for between 10 and 15 minutes. So we'll check it after 10 minutes. You know, I like it pink. So we'll have a look at it then. So my pigeons roasting away nicely. Is my chicory. Couldn't be easier. Just check there's any, take a couple of outer leaves off. 
in half lengthways. my dish. I'm going to put them in there. I'm just going to use a couple in this one obviously because I've just got the one pigeon crown. So what I'm going to do is season that up. Pepper, salt, a little splash old cider vinegar and then the same with some lovely olive oil. I'm just going to put those in the oven now and on the side of that pitch. While my uh, chicory and my pigeons are roasting away in the oven, let's get on with this sauce. So I've put a knob of butter in there, just let that melt down a bit. Then that one shallot, which has been peeled and diced, we're just going to warm through, as per usual, no colour until they just go soft. So I've just took that pigeon out, that's been in there for 14 minutes, so feels nice and tender. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rest that now for 5 minutes, so I'm just going to cover that in foil and we'll let it sit. Nice close up on that pan then. There's my shallots, been cooking for a few minutes. I'm going to add a little bit, listen, oh, a little bit of port. That has me and a little bit of this red wine. What we've got to do now is we've got to reduce that down until you've got about three or four tablespoons. So it really needs to be real intense, really reduced down, nice and syrupy. As you can see, that red wine has nearly disappeared to nothing. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to add my 200 ml of chicken stock, <coughs> excuse me, and we're going to repeat the process. So we're going to take that right down again to about three or four tablespoons worth. So we mix that in. So as you can imagine, that's really intense and the flavours all melt together. So whack that on again and reduce. Just want to show you that sauce reducing, you know, for people who don't know what to do. Anything you're going to reduce, it's the heat full up lid off and then that can burn off all that moisture then it burn off all the alcohol so you're left with the taste of the grapes take all that moisture out of the chicken stock and you're left with that lovely syrupy you know reduced sauce well that's reducing now Let's have a look at that pigeon that's resting lovely there's a few juices in the bottom of that pan i can go in the sauce building them flavors up don't waste a thing you can continue resting that there and that will stay warm for quite a while actually that's the beauty of cooking it on the bone not only does it add flavour but it stays nice and warm as you can see with that sauce that's come right down so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my elderberries I've got about 150 to 100 there I'm just going to put in that much so obviously I'm only doing the one pigeon so mix them together so they all get coated and all we do is we take that off the heat and we keep it warm okay you can see I've just took my chicory out of the oven nicely roasted Put one on like that one on like that and we're going to check on that pigeon now so we want this nice and pink so we take our crown and here's the moment of truth. Go down the one side, follow that breastbone, see how it comes out. Oh yeah. Let's have a look at this. Fantastic. Cooking it on that bone, as you can see as it falls away in a moment, through that leg joint. Give it one of them. Have a look at that. So we'll just take that other side off. Following it down. So 
So, have a little taste. I'm just going to put one on like that and cut that little wing off. I'm going to just slice this one. Just put it on there. I mean, I ain't no chef. You have to excuse this presentation. So that's that. I should just get the sauce. You can see on that camera how nice and pink that pigeon is. That's all we do. And just a little bit on the pitch. Just a little bit on there. I mean, excuse the presentation, like I say, but that is my pan roasted pigeon crown with roast chicory and an elderberry sauce. That's per usual, better give it a go. You can see how tender that meat is. Give it a bit of that elderberry sauce first. Oh, beautiful. Just cook a bit of that, cut a bit of that chicory. Mmm. Fantastico. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Next time, apple and blackberry tart. Thanks.